Now that I have created my Facebook account and I've changed my privacy setting, the next thing that I want to do is to create a Facebook group and a Facebook page. We will talk later about what's the difference between Facebook group and Facebook page. So to, the quickest way to create a group is to go to the search box and type group. Click on the groups app. In the upper right hand corner, click on create group right there. Name your group as your class name. I'm going to name it instructional design. You can add member to your group. I'm going to add myself for now. And here is your group privacy. If you choose an open group, anyone can see anything in your group. If you choose closed group, anyone can see the group member, but they can see the post. If you choose a secret group, only member can see anything in this group. I would recommend to leave it open at the beginning of your classroom. Then hit create. Here we are in our group page. In the group page, we can write a post, which I already did. I asked the student to write a short summary about the first chapter reading. It's very important because it must motivate the student to complete the reading and at the same time it makes shy students to participate on the discussion and they could benefit from each other insights. You can add photo, video, you can ask questions, like already here ask questions and I create a poll. What do you think about using Facebook in the classroom? Students can vote on that. To edit your group, you can go on the upper right hand corner and the drop down menu. Click on edit, edit group. You can add an image to the group. You can change the name of the group. You can change the privacy. As I said, keep it open at the beginning of your class and when all your class students join the group you can make it closed or secret depend on how you want the privacy you can set who can approve the request to join you can set uh, set up a group email you can add description to your group and you can give permission who can post on this group only members or only administrators and hit save at the end if you want to go back to your group page, click on back to all.